Hey Wolfies, did a Shaman Moon here. I'm just making this video to share my experiences. I'm making this other video today, the same day that I did the video for Hecate. But I also want to share this video that I mentioned my relationship with the Celtic goddess Bridget and the, and the Horn One Celtic god Cornunos. I wanted to share my experiences with her, but, um, um, I've been working with Bridget for a while now, and I noticed that she comes to me, she chose, she chose me on this path when I was trying to figure out what path to follow, Wiccan or Paganism. I don't know which path. So I was trying, at that time, I was trying to um, find who was my matron goddess, like everybody does, when they're on the Wiccan path or Pagan path. So um, I really didn't know who was my goddess at that time, because I was jumping from one goddess to another goddess, to another one, to another one. I didn't really know who it was that was calling me. I thought it was, at one point, I thought it was Hecate. And I did find out that Hecate was one of my matron goddesses, but not the one. But, so later on, I started getting attracted to um, Celtic mythology. I was always attracted to that. And um, she, she kind of was the first goddess to come out and grab me when I was on my path of paganism and Wicca. She was the goddess that did come out and grab me. And I felt like um, she chose me as one of her kins, as one of her children. But I am really, really, really grateful for Bridget. She's helped me through many things. And I'm really grateful for my relationship with Bridget. And I am planning to make it stronger in the future. I definitely want to make my connection with Bridget more stronger and um, I really want to go along this path doing, doing good and I really want to get more in depth in Wicca paganism so I hope Bridget can help me with that because I was looking for, I wasn't really looking for a uh, poetry deity, but I know she's associated with Smithcraft, poetry, the arts, um, and um, holy water, and some other stuff. Um, I know her animal was uh, the lamb, the ewe, the sheep. Um, uh, even vultures. I didn't even know vultures was associated with her. Or owls that were associated with Bridget. Um, I also found out in the beginning of my path that she's associated with the, the holiday in book. Or the season of in book. Um, and she's the goddess of fire, the hearth and home. She's the goddess of healing. She's the goddess of smithcraft poetry. Um, she's a triple goddess. So she does encompass what a Wiccan tradition of a goddess represents. Mother Maiden and Crone. She has a very lovely energy, very motherly energy to her. And that's what I like about Bridget. And that's what I love about Bridget. 
because I am a pagan, I am a witch, but I also like what Bridget Encompass in her type of energy. She can be motherly, but she also can be a fierce warrior goddess. Like, super fierce, like, straight on, straight on fierce. She's that type of goddess, and I really like her. And, um, she also is a good goddess for divination. And, um, she's also the goddess of, um, poetry, magic, um, um, smith craft. I think I said that one already. Herb crab, earth craft, herb craft, um, herbalism, um, and some other stuff, um, the arts. But my relationship with Bridget, I am going to share it within the, this YouTube channel. And this YouTube channel is going to be my relationship as a pagan, as a Wiccan as a witch, as an eclectic witch, because I do have bloodlines that are Celtic, Native American, Spaniard, and so forth. And I do study all different forms of magic, not just Celt, not just Celtic. I study all different kinds. Hold on, okay? Oh. I do study all different kinds. Um, of magic and the occult. Um, but I do want to start making videos of my goddess Bridget. And she's the mother goddess to me. She's the mother goddess to me. I love my Bridget as much as I love Hecate. Um, and I'm going to be sharing my experiences with my mother goddess because I did a dedication to Bridget um, and Kernunos and I got it out of this book. Let me get the book. Hold on. I got it out of this book. Um. Um. Let me show you this book. Um, it's called The Book of Sylvan Raven, Sylvan w Raven Wolf. Um, it's, um, I love this book. This book is freaking amazing. I love it so much. I think I'm going to do a review, a review on this book. This book is perfect for the beginner. Perfect. And I did get the, the invocation and the dedication ritual that I did in this book. But I am going to do a review on this book. I love this book to death. This is an awesome book. Y'all should get this book. It's freaking awesome. Freaking, freaking, freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. So, basically... Like I said, I am going to do reviews on this channel, but to go back on topic, talking about Bridget, I love my goddess Bridget. She's been there for me. She helps me. She heals me. She lifts me up. I love her to death and I love her so much. Um, sorry, I was fixing myself, sitting up straight. I was kind of leaning over. Um, I do love her so much, like I said. Um, she is the perfect goddess for beginners that are, that are practicing the craft, um, like I was. She helped me along the path of a Wiccan, paganism, stuff like that. I've always been a witch, um, since I grew up, since I was growing up, my family come from a long line of witches, shamans, 
Native American healers. Um, so the bloodline of being a witch is always in my blood. And um, I really want to start being more involved with the pagan and Wiccan community. And um, I am going to start building up more of a relationship with my goddess Bridget and the god Kernunos. Um, like I said, um, I really, 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 really enjoy Bridget. I mean, she's been there for me. Like I said, she's, she's no one to screw around with, but she's loving, but she can get pissed. But that's what I like about her because she holds the masculine and the feminine energies that I'm looking for in a goddess. And I know um, there was another person that did a review on Bridget. Um, I don't know his name, but I think his name was Nico. I think he goes by Scarlet. Scarlet Moon, or Scarlet Moon, I don't know how you pronounce it, I love his channel, he's freaking awesome, if you're watching this video, or you ever see this video, I love your channel, Nico, if your name is Nico, um, I love your channel, it's freaking awesome, um, I hope you do a lot more videos on Bridget, um, I'm also, um, I'll be doing a lot more videos on Bridget and sharing my relationships with her, my experiences, a day to life, a day in the life of Bridget with me. So basically, I am going to do that. So if anybody out there that works with Bridget, has Bridget as their matron goddess like I do, please don't hesitate to get a hold of me on YouTube or Facebook. Um, so please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my video. Um, I'll be making more videos later in the future. And I'll be doing some book reviews. I love doing book reviews. I've seen them, I love them, and I'm thinking I'm doing them on this channel. So, um, if y'all have any other book recommendations or stuff, um, please give me a shout out, message me on YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitter, or any of the social media platforms. Um, sorry, I was itching on my head. Um, so, just let me know what y'all think of this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you like it. Um, I'll catch you later, Wolfies. And um, I bid you farewell. Bye, Wolfies.